Good morning again, everybody. Good morning. Well, this is my tenth one. Just let you know. My first one, I was homeless. My first eulogy I wrote for the homeless memorial was for Paul Langley, who died under the uh, Corpus Street Bridge, which spearheaded uh, Tenth City back in 2009. And the list just gets longer every single year. People just dropping for all kinds of reasons. There's, and you can, you can figure out the reasons from self-abuse, exposure, touch of bad luck. It could be anything, it could be anybody. And what I wrote here was a reminder of myself when I was living in the shelter. There's probably some people here that probably watched me write it when I was in the Urban League. And it was the most discouraging part of my life, that I could have been one of those candles very easily. And I thank God for the people I have around me at this day, because I wouldn't be here today. And I'm blessed in so many ways. Because there's a lot of love out there, but we have to do is open our eyes up and realize there is love out there, instead of just looking over the shoulder, just disregarding everything. Because that's what's wrong with this world. We focus so much on hate, ignorance, and stupidity, instead of really just figuring out the root cause of the problem, fix them. Amen. It's not that hard, but you gotta, you know, everybody's gonna get together in this. Because the way this world is going, people going in 40 different directions, 40 different agendas, that's why, this, this why society is crashing and burning. And it's sad. And I feel for the people in the Midwest right now. People complain about being cold. My sister's living in Michigan with minus 60 windshield. God bless her that they were, they were able to have thick skin to survive. I get cold at 70 degrees anyway, but that's the side point. And what I wrote here was a call to myself. What I want to be when I grow up. How am I going to reconfigure myself? How am I going to fit? How that puzzle piece is going to fit? If I have to file it down, I will fit. And this is what I wrote. This is called to give up this fight. To give up this fight was contemplated while the world gets more complicated. As the struggles mounts, discouragement, discouragement blooms while this world doesn't give us much room. Room to thrive, trying to stay alive. Every brick wall there is filled with fright. Frightened by the prospects, now what's next? At times I want here to give up this fight. Do I want to be buried and stay in despair? Do I want to be, or do I want to be left behind anymore? Do I want to live without love to give up this fight? Well, I'll just close that door. So I have to find a cure to endure. While the days and nights are sad for sure, to give up this fight, I'll just lose my way. It's time to change my ways and see here today that I'll pray for strength and don't abandon me, needing more to ever to find that light. It's only found in perseverance and strength. Help me, God. I don't want to give up this fight. Thank you.